Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, and I'm continuing my look at all of the new hulls in Alpha 12. And today it's a look at the Austro Hungarian modern battleship available in 1929. So uh, let's have a look. And oh, thank goodness it's not the one with the weird ass. Right, good. The Bohemia, good name. So again, three sizes. Should we try and go for a small one this time. Towers. Oh, okay. So you get the modern tower, which is this one. Or triangular towers. And stat wise, hmm. I think I'm going to go for the triangular tower four. I do like the look of the triangular towers. And rear towers, oh, we get this one, which is the front tower backwards. Uh, or we get light secondaries or compact secondaries. We'll go with this one. Again, just, just for the weirdness factor of it. It's just strange. And I was trying to use it yesterday, and oh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I was. Um, and it didn't work quite as... I'd hoped. All right, funnels. Uh, let's go oil uh, two. Okay, we get these two. Very nice. Uh, I think this one might be a single funnel setup. Yeah, single funnel. Unlike the dual funnel. Uh, I wish there was like a, a third option. I'm sure the other hull had a third option. Yeah, um, yeah. I'll see see how we can. I oh, can put them right back here. <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. Right. Okay. Um. Guns, I'm assuming, are going to be 16-inch Mark Threes. Yes. Oh, and they're the German-looking ones. Nice. Uh, do they fit on medium bobbits? They do. Although they look a little bit weird. Mm. Yeah, they look better on a standard. No, it doesn't quite fit. The Nelson style, although maybe it does. Yeah, there we go. But you have an enormous four weight offset. So the hull's not really designed to do it. We will still go for the same level of armament. That's giving me a little bit of an half weight offset. There we go, that's fine. And secondary guns. See now, Mark IV, Mark, there, they're all Mark IV. I'm assuming it doesn't fit six inch. Oh, it does fix six inch guns. Interesting. Nice. Very nice. Indeed. That's a lot of secondaries that you can fit very neatly on this ship. Hmm. I like that. And looks like two inch jewels give you the most options for your kind of tertiary armament. Hmm. <laughs> your Google smart speaker responds to my voice. <laughs> it just explained to you who Sting is. 
<laughs> okay, well that amuses me. So how do I activate it? I'll just say, hey Google, what's uh, the Bismarck and it'll do stuff. <laughs> which which is hilarious. Uh, pitch and rolls are okay. Because um, that's why I like this ship for the secondary mounts because you can actually fit them relatively close to the center line, which means that they don't affect roll too much. Uh, normally, this many six-inch triple guns would completely ruin your handling, but this is uh, okay. <laughs> Did that actually work? Yes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the possibilities. Right. Um, let's go with... This is a battleship, right? Uh, balanced boilers. How fast can she go? Oh, boy. 30 knots. Nice. Um, I'll make an absolutely terrifying ship in 1930. Well, 1929 this is, but she wouldn't be finished by then with a build time of 31 months. More when I put the triple hull bottom on. Yeah, 35 months. So she would launch in, what, 1932, perhaps? Oh, 41 months. 1933-ish. Uh, torpedo belt. It's 47 months now. <laughs> um, guns. Be nice to go with high TNT. But yeah, that flash fire chance just a little bit too high for my liking. So we'll go chew powder super heavy again. That was fun last time. Um, I could go full on auto lotus. And Electro Hydro Turrets, my my. Um, still underweight as well. Uh, oh, bulkheads, that'll, that'll be why. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to go down to semi auto loaders, which I know seems a bit weird, but I have my reasons. And I'm going to drop a lot of speed. Um. There we go. Just so that we can get a little bit more armor, because this is okay, apart from the, the belt. The belt at only 11 inches makes me a bit nervous. Ugh, very nervous. I'm trying to think what else I could take off. Mind you, we go down to advanced hydraulic turrets. If we're going semi auto, and we'll just get more belt armor on. There we go. That that makes that's a little bit more comfortable. And then a little bit on the tower. Lovely. Well, there we go. The Bohemia. Uh, balance is all right. And uh, interesting looking ship. Let's uh, see how she performs. Yeah, so I'm oh, just mixing up up a bit um, thread length. So um, sometimes I just go maximum bulkhead. Sometimes I put all the anti torpedo belts. Just depends what takes my fancy. Um, I tended to put more anti torpedo belts on my ships now, um, particularly these big battleships because they don't have the best turning circles and they don't have the best handling. And they do, Jesus Christ. Well, this could be interesting. Um, and, uh, yeah, you often... It, it's something you don't need. But when you need it, you really do need it. Right, let's have a look at this monster. Oh, boy. 20-inch guns? Yep. <laughs> this is a problem with 1929. Is the enemy can show up with something like this. Look at that. AVQXY triple twenties with every single secondary gun you could possibly want thrown in for good measure. Yeah, sure. 
<laughs> How much does that thing cost? Oh my goodness. Right. Well, we've got our hands full. guns actually firing properly and not uh, wasting their ammunition. And let's get the most aggressive angle I can while still being able to fire all my... Oh, why are you target locking again? Stop it. Doesn't look half bad. A certain meanness. Certainly prefer it to the uh, Spanish one that I was doing last time. Well, I don't know if they're actually aware of the target lock bug thrilling. I have posted on the forums now detailing exactly what it is um, and when it occurs and stuff. Because I've submitted bug, I've submitted the odd bug report about it. Um, just to see if I can get a response from them about it. I mean, they might just say it's working as intended, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Because what happens is, you'll see it happen. You'll you'll get a miss, usually because or, you know, you'll manoeuvre your ship and you lose the locked uh, aiming thing here. That's fine, but when that happens, it registers a massive negative, like minus 400% or something. And what that does is it prevents this ever going above zero ever again because it registered a negative value. And I don't think that's working as intended. So I saw it there, it had a minus 64. So I briefly lost the um, targeting. So I think that it it is a feature that is working as intended, but has a negative overflow bug in it, basically. That's why I think it's a bug. Um, it's not quite right. Hey there, Semper, how you doing? Uh, there are no new destroyer hulls in the update. Although there is um, an experimental light cruiser that is basically a destroyer. Yeah, the Italian light cruiser. <gasps> Was it Italian? But yeah, there's, there's a couple of um, light cruiser hulls that are basically destroyers. It was Russian. It was Russian. Okay, we've got an ID. Um, we've taken a couple of hits, and they've taken a couple of hits. The Delaware. 102,000 ton minimum bulkhead ship. 20 inch tube powder. Fucking hell. 25 knots. Uh, heavy tube powder. Oh my god. L <laughs> With, um... A 7-inch triple gun and <laughs> every 3-inch gun imaginable. <laughs> and a couple of 2-inch guns. Good lord, that's a lot of 3-inch guns. Expecting destroyers swarms, are we? Oh god. Heavy cruiser, what the fuck is that? Okay, the AI is apparently drunk today. Maximum bulkhead 6 inch armed heavy cruiser. It does have a bow torpedo launcher on the Northampton. Ugh, why? Okay, just sink that immediately, please.
There we go. Big hits. Quite a lot of flooding. I know, it's, it's just disgusting. Look at it. Yuck. <laughs> what is this? Oh yeah, well, that's the thing about naval warfare, it's like, oh, a two-inch gun. How minor and unimpressive. <laughs> it's like, I actually saw one of those on land, you'd absolutely brick it. Um, this is a huge weapon. Um, and the same was true for naval bombardment. Um, you know, you don't need to use 16-inch guns for causing a hell of a lot of damage to land targets. Five-inch guns are pretty massive things and can do quite a lot. So, let's put the Northampton out of her misery, please. Thank you. Oh, no! Hit her again! Sink, damn you! You're so ugly. Go away. Okay. Maybe? Nope. Flooded an already flooded section. Maybe. Might be a bit of flooding in the front. Oh, that was, that was that was some hits there. I can just reduce her structure to zero instead, I guess. But I think she is sinking. Yeah, down she goes. Okay, back to the battleship. My advantage is in closing a little bit, so let's try that. Miss. Disappointing. Yeah, modern tank gun is like 120 millimeters, uh, which is about a five inch gun. Um, but, yeah. Can you imagine, like, so given that, given that these six inch guns are larger than anything you'd see on a modern tank, and I have three, six, nine, four, 24 of them. <laughs> That's an entire tank regiment slapped on the side of this thing. If you got it into range of any land targets, of course. That's not even mentioning the 16s. Which are just monsters. You can bit any of the any land-based artillery you might encounter short of a railway gun. Delaware is more damaged than I thought she'd be. She's not badly armoured, but minimum bulkheads doesn't help with damage control. Just doing a little bit of damage. Maybe angle in slightly more. Her accuracy seems rather bad. So 9.5 for her compared to 35 for me. I wonder why that is. She does have radar. Stereoscopic 5 rangefinder. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why her accuracy is so bad. 
I mean, she has taken damage, of course, but um, usually that doesn't cause that huge a difference this early on. And she's a big, slow brute of a ship. Equal tech to me. Scored some more hits. Hmm. Yeah, it might have a lot of roll or pitch or something. Definitely possible. That's a big old splash, that is. Free shower for everyone on board the Bohemian Elite. Oh, she went down. Oh, Delaware. Oh, no, that was a poor showing. That was poor. Minimum bulkheads. Don't do it, children. Now we get to commit horrific crimes against small destroyers. We've got the Henry W. Tucker and the light cruiser, which is the Long Beach, uh, which is no threat at all. Target the destroyers. Target the destroyer, please. Dum -tree, dum -tree. Yeah, weight distribution. Might have had a big offset or something. Nice hit. Um, ship names for the game seem to be okay, actually. Oh, she just fired torpedoes. Um, like, that the... Henry W. Tucker does sound like a uh, <laughs> does sound like a U.S. destroyer name. Can we slip between them. Oh yeah, pro torpedo dodging skills. <laughs> uh, that's another reason for putting an anti torpedo belt on. By the way, it improves your torpedo dodging ability because you <laughs> know you can take a hit. Um. And it makes it better. It's like carrying an umbrella so that it doesn't rain. What is this light cruiser doing? Go away, Long Beach. Just, <laughs> it's just stupid. Uh, uh, yeah, Long Beach sounds like a US cruiser name. Um, Delaware definitely uh, sounds like a battleship name. Speaking of the Delaware. Yeah, still sinking, and uh, so is the destroyer. <laughs> nice ship, very nice. One hundred and thirty-five million bargain. Um, I like that Austro-Hungarian modern battleship. That is a nice additional addition to the Austro-Hungarian fleet, um, because of course before they only got the uh, modernized dreadnought. So that's very nice indeed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye!